Hey guys, Kari here with some more Plant Hoarding Adventures. Just wanted to do another update on some of my propagations. Uh, a while back I did a how to propagate uh, the string of pearls plant and I'll link the video somewhere on the screen so you can check it out if you like to. But I just wanted to show you guys what's been happening and I do think that um, mine are not as successful as other people's would be because now in the summertime when my 30 something trees are just full of leaves there's barely any sun coming through into my house so they're not doing so hot like especially this one there's about one cutting right there that actually made it Let's see if i can turn it can you see guys so that's okay, I'm not very disappointed. This is a pretty resilient plant. Everybody else is kind of dry. I also uh, kind of failed to water this for the past two weeks, so some of my leaves are a bit shriveled. But everything is looking good in this pot. So all of the, this was my main pot, and I did have this really long string here that I chose not to cut because I love how it looks when it's cascading out of the pot. But I did cut, a lot of the other ones for instance you can see I snipped that one this one right there and two two little plants are growing from each side of the stem and even here this was just a little chunk of a stem with a leaf there's already a baby growing on this side same with that one I mean, it's looking pretty good. Even this one where it was just the leaf and the stem, only one set of leaves and one little stem, I just stuck it in the dirt. It's already growing pretty awesome and even coming out of the pot. Can you believe that? And let's see, this one, I think this is the one where, where the whole propagation process started because I bumped this plant and totally broke the stem off. And now there is um, even more than, there's almost like three growing from one leaf. And if you look down below, a set of leaves dried up here, but new little babies are coming as branches. So it's pretty cool. I think these guys are so adorable. My friend gave me this plant and uh, I'm really happy that it's been alive for me. I have a really hard time with some succulents that require more sun because of my lack of sun. <laughs> so I'm super excited that uh, this one is still doing good. Like I said, some of my leaves are a little wrinkled up, but I did water it yesterday, so I think it's going to pump back up in a few days. So guys, if your string of buttons or I'm really not sure what these are called. String of buttons, I believe, um, is kind of going out of control and starting to look all long and stringy. Do you see how my stems are much longer than like these baby ones where all the leaves are together? So this is due to my lack of light and the plant stretches out towards the window to get some more light. So if that's happening to yours and you're just not enjoying the look, you can always just chop them right in the middle between each leaf and then stick the little stems in dirt again keep it nice and moist and new little babies will grow in no time so i hope that this was helpful i can't remember exactly how long ago i did the propagation but i'll try to look that up in the previous video but i'm very happy with the outcome even though i did lose some of the cuttings i am happy that one of the pots is doing awesome so maybe i will move this one little guy who, who is you know doing well maybe i'll move him into this pot so it can become floor anyways guys i hope you're having an awesome day if you have questions or comments let me know if you have suggestions i would love that too so i'll see you next time ciao ciao